The Packers and the Saints. Looks like it's being moved out of New Orleans. Sean Payton said today that they are planning to be away from New Orleans for a month. This is kind of a big deal because the Saints, a home field advantage, they were they were looking forward to having a full house. Now, they did kind of switch things around, and they were one of the first, I think maybe the first NFL team to say that you had to be vaccinated to be able to get into their stadium. I, I don't know what that would have meant for the crowds, but New Orleans is not in any position after Hurricane Ida to no. bring in tons and tons of people like that, especially they are expecting to not have power down there for at least another couple of weeks, if not longer. And do you see what the, the heat index was today? Well, it's really hot down there, it's I'm over sure. And I bet, I bet the humi- yeah, and the humidity is going to be Ooh. obscene. It's yes. just going to be obscene. It's, it's not It's not natural. It's not normal. It's bad. So Oklahoma and Tulane also moved their game out of New Orleans, and they have moved that over to Norman, Oklahoma. Tulane will sure. host there. It looks like, looks like the Saints are going to host the Packers in Lambeau. That's, that's what the initial plan is. I don't know what the, the rest of the month looks like, but, you know, does this change anything about overs, unders, anything like I mean, I kind of expected the Packers to go in and win that game anyway. But yeah, I didn't think New Orleans was going to be very good this year. Now, I, I've heard differently from NFL guys that I follow that, that New Orleans is still one of the most talented rosters, and if Jameis can be good, then they're still going to be really good, and that's fine. I could be wrong on, on my assumption of them. Not playing at home is a big deal, and, and I – and I don't think this is going to be a short-term thing. I think when I say a short-term thing, it ain't going to be one week. Okay, I do think they're going to miss about a month, maybe longer. I will tell you that I'm curious. You remember the first game back from Katrina? Yeah. And it was, it was kind of a magical thing. I think because that was magical in the way it was, I think people are going to try and force this to be the same. And I don't think you can ever force something like that. I think when you try to manufacture it, it ends up bad every time. And, and I fear their first game back into the stadium, we will, we will try really hard to manufacture a lot of emotions instead of letting a lot of emotion just come naturally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that because I don't like the manufacturing of it. And I don't like the using something like this for a television show. Because that's whatever the broadcast, whatever t- television show hosts the host that game, broadcast that game, they they will be trying to overproduce it to 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 get eyeballs, and yeah. and I I don't like the manipulation of of emotions for for that. It may be a a long time before they play at home, so they were scheduled to host the Packers on yep. September twelfth. Well, then they had a game at Carolina and at New England, and then they had the Giants coming in on October third, and they may. Get to play that one at home, uh, but if they don't, I wonder at what point in time will they move these games to Baton Rouge if Baton Rouge is able to host them. Uh, I don't know, but here here's the deal. So they've got that one game on October third, then they've got at Washington on October tenth, then they've got their bye week, then they've got at Seattle, and then they don't host another home game until Tampa comes in on Halloween. I could see that being the first game in the Superdome. That I, I tend to agree. Now the Superdome could, did not like it, there was no structural damage. No, no, nothing, no, no, no. But no, it's this just is the, the power. This is just this is well, it's not just power. It's getting the power. It's getting the places around there. But it's getting people back in their homes that live there. Yeah. All right. This is not just a place for people to go party at. Okay. <clears throat> Over the weekend and leave. The people that host the big party that New Orleans is every weekend. They got to live there and we got to get their houses back in order before they can start hosting parties. All right. Yes. That that's just the way it is. The restaurant's first priority is going to be feeding the people that live there, not dropping a hundred thousand extra fans in town for a good weekend and feeding them. They, they got to feed those who are in need first. Yeah. And, and, and I think everybody knows that I really could see that that first game being back in New Orleans and the Superdome being the Tampa game, it wouldn't surprise me if they play that Giants game instead of making them play all their games on the road. If they play that Giants game in Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge got a big ass stadium. There's no reason they can't play. And I haven't looked at LSU's schedule to see is that it's the same week of a LSU home. It doesn't matter. There's no reason they can't play a game on Sunday. Well, the grass might happen because it is a real grass. It's not turf. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling it up. LSU football schedule. LSU has a home game 
it might be real hard to get that grass ready yeah. for an NFL game. The, the um, league probably won't allow that. LSU and Auburn is October 2nd, so that yeah. might not work. If it, was, if it was on turf, then we'd be having a different conversation. Yeah. Right? Because you there's, you don't have any worries about that. You just show up. You, you play a game on Saturday, then you play a game on Sunday, and we don't have any issues. Like, nothing changes. I don't think that's a big deal. I think the people in Louisiana would love it. I think the city of Baton Rouge would love it. Um, okay, what about uh, what about having no fans and and then doing it over at Tulane Stadium? Because Tulane's on the Tulane road. St- yeah, but we th- we need to know what Tulane Stadium is is capable of hosting and holding. Well, that's what know. I'm saying. If they did no fans and they just did the game in New Orleans, so that the other team had to travel for once, maybe that's a possibility. Well, I mean, if you're going to do that, you just go to Houston. Yeah. I mean, Houston's just two hours away, and and Houston's got a metric shit ton of football stadiums. If you're going to do no fans, but of course, even then, whatever Houston stadium you end up picking, you could sell tickets to that and let fans come in. That wouldn't um, hurt anybody. I mean, the Texans are on the road on October third. They play, but, at even, but even if the Texans weren't, but that that would be a great thing. Houston has hosted Baton Rouge hosted Houston for everything, or not Baton Rouge, New Orleans hosted Houston for a lot of things when they weren't on the water. Like those two cities are close; they're both below sea level. They're massive cities in our country, and 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 they kind of take care of one another when this stuff kind of happens. I think they would do that before before they would try to play it in Tulane. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I just wonder, you know, if if. They wanted the players to be able to go home, that kind of stuff, maybe. But I don't but, I don't know that there's a whole lot of home here. I think I think it's better for all these players to move their families out of here until New Orleans gets situated. Live out of a hotel for one season, have your families move back to wherever the hell you want them to move or wherever you live in the offseason and 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 function out of there because home ain't gonna be the same for a while. Unless yeah. your family has something to offer. Okay, unless your family is is in the construction business or in the food business and knows how to help feed people or in the power business or whatever, like if your family is in this industry and they're going to be there to provide something, then great. But if they're going to be there just to be there and they're taking resources, no, no, no. If you have the resources to leave, you should leave and allow what resources that are there go to those who need them. That is all my opinion. This is all my belief in yeah. what is right and what is wrong. So. You know, not that I would knock somebody for doing it. It's just, it's just what I think. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.